Welcome to today's video on creating a report with your Fluke Versive Tester. My name is Alex, and in just a minute, I'll be teaching you how to become a pro at generating reports in no time. Reporting is an important part of the certification process, and Fluke makes it simple to generate easy to understand reports for your clients who require them, or as an added value you can offer when prospecting new business. The first step in generating our report is downloading the Linkware PC software from the Fluke Networks website. Once you've downloaded Linkware PC and run the program, click in the top right corner to sign in and sign in with your Fluke Networks account. This account would have been created when you registered your Fluke testers which we'll cover in another video. Now that you're signed in, we need to navigate to the import test results function. In today's example, I'll be selecting the Linkware PC FLW file option, which we would use if our resu results were already saved locally on our PC. If we hadn't already imported these results to our computer, we'd select either from USB or one of the specific tester options if we had our testers on hand, or from Linkware Live if we had uploaded our results to the cloud using Versive's built-in Wi-Fi. An article on how to import your test results in greater detail will be linked in the description below. I've now successfully imported my test results. As I'm using the Fluke sample file for today's video, we can see several tester models, including some that are obsolete. Let's navigate to the Versib subcategory at the bottom. Here we can see our full list of test results. In this example, we've done some tests with all three models on the Versib platform. The DSX Category Copper Tester, CertiFiber OLTS Fiber Tester, and OptiFiber OTDR Fiber Tester. Let's assume our customer would like two reports in total, one for copper and one for both fiber tests to show our tier one and tier two TIA fiber certification. First, I can filter our results by tester type. And now I can select all of our DSX results by clicking on my topmost entry, holding the shift key and clicking my last entry to create a range selection. With my selected entries highlighted, I can navigate to the PDF icon along the top toolbar. I'll leave selected records in list as the method to include only those results which we've highlighted. We can see I also have an option to segment each individual test result as its own PDF file. For today, we'll leave that unchecked. I'll give this a pretend project name like Hospital Project Copper Test Results. And voila, in only a few seconds, we have an automatically generated PDF report that shows all of the tested criteria in our results, broken down in clear sections with visual guides as well. Now let's do our fiber. But what if we want to add a custom header with our company logo to our report this time? Well, before I select the fiber results, I will navigate to options along the top toolbar and select reports. On the first tab, I'm going to check the box for use the custom bitmap on all new databases and then click the custom bitmap option. Now I'll select the bitmap file for my pretend company logo. Maybe I also want this fiber test report to have a different colored background as well. So I'll switch that from the default blue to tan. With our custom settings applied, I'll go back to our results and select all of our OptiFiber and CertiFiber test results using the shift key step we used earlier, then holding the control button and clicking our DSX results to deselect them. After saving our report, we can see that our custom settings worked 
and our company logo is integrated seamlessly into our report, giving a professional, polished look to the customer. That's all for today's video. Thank you for watching.